Welcome top news today. Trump in August 2015, Charlie Reed Alapa, New Yorker report delves into the details of an alleged 2006 affair between President Donald Trump and a former Playboy model. According to the Playmate, Trump ate the same thing every night at their alleged affair steak and mashed potatoes. Details of the report seem to line up with other women's reports of relationships and non-consensual sexual encounters with Trump. A former Playboy Playmate's account of an illicit affair with President Donald Trump reveals the president to be a man of habit. On Friday, The New Yorker published an investigation into Karen McDougal, a former Playmate who has previously said she had an affair with Trump in 2006. At the time, Trump was married to First Lady Melania Trump, and his youngest son, Aaron, was just months old. In a page document written by McDougal and reviewed by The New Yorker, the former playmate reveals intimate details of the reported affair. Instagram Trump, she said, always stayed in the same bungalow at the Beverly Hills Hotel and ordered the same meal, steak and mashed potatoes, and never drank, The New Yorker reported. Little details, such as Trump's food preferences, line up with other accounts of Trump's behavior. Porn star Stormy Daniels, for example, has alleged that she had dinner with Trump in 2006, at a bungalow in the Beverly Hills Hotel. Summer Zervis, who was a contestant on The Apprentice, alleges that Trump assaulted her at a bungalow at the same hotel in 2007. And Trump's dining habits, including a love for well-done steak, are well documented. American Media, a media company that owns the National Enquirer and has close ties to Trump, bought the exclusive rights to McDougal's story, the Wall Street Journal reported in 2016. But the company did not run any pieces on the story, something that The New Yorker notes is a tactic commonly used by media outlets to kill a story. McDougal did not directly comment on the alleged affair in The New Yorker piece, for fear of violating her agreement with American Media. The White House claimed the incidents discussed in the document did not happen, with a spokesperson telling The New Yorker that the president says he never had a relationship with McDougal.